Well, this is number three. I had a laser cut spar in my number two uh, trim tab here. And um, I'm glad that I looked at it because I uh, noticed that every single um, dimple on the spar had a significant crack in it more than like two thirds of the way down the dimple. So uh, it's time to uh, rebuild them for the third time. All right, so here we go. Um, I'm not sure what exactly uh, triggered me to look at this. I think it was probably that I was going back through my old videos. Um, and wow, that light is really bright and annoying. Let's put up something over it so it's not, I mean, whatever. Let's just get that out of there. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, I think I was going through my old build videos and I had seen, um, you know, just after the whole laser cut mess, like what else do I have that's impacted, right? So I wanted to get a, a catalog of all the things that I had that could have been impacted. Um, and I thought that the trim tab, uh, I thought I had seen no bluing or no blue um, vinyl on the uh, trim tab when I had built it the second time, which I believe that video is somewhere in this channel. So I figured, all right, well, let's give it a shot. And uh, yeah, I pulled it apart and whoo, baby, it was <laughs> not in good shape. I cannot believe I didn't notice that when I was building it. Um, I'm glad that I did pull it apart though, because the last thing I wanted to deal with is a trim tab that's, you know, got smoking rivets and somewhere just after phase one of flying or something, who knows? I, I I don't know how long they'd be, but they were significant cracks. So um, trim tab parts are cheap, and this was before Vans had an official um, stance on exactly what was going to happen. You know, parts portal wasn't a thing yet, and so I was like, hey, I'm just going to order the parts to rebuild another one. They knew it was a problem. They weren't shipping out any more laser cut parts, but they didn't have a you know this is what you're going to do with the parts situation so here's me dimpling both sides of the spar by accident because you know you just think you know how to do it <laughs> of course you don't know how to do it no you don't dimple one side of the spar because one side of the spar goes into the flipping hinge <laughs> so i had to go back and undimple <laughs> such an idiot you countersink it with the dip with the, um, yeah, here we go. Just using a flat squeezer to, to undimple that whole side. <laughs> oh, so ridiculous. Yeah, you countersink it with the hinge in place. And, uh, there go, there, yeah, the, it, it knife edges, but it's supposed to, so. Anyway, uh, yeah, this was just a hilarious situation. And then I, since I didn't like the way it lined up, I actually took, uh, I cut, as you saw there, a piece of the previous skin to lay it below for the whole alignment um, to make sure that I was getting whole alignment good when I was uh, doing this. Why is that on my finger? Did I cut my, I must have cut myself or something. Yikes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I cut myself really bad with the um, with the metal shears. I think I I don't remember exactly what happened, but it was a deep cut. That was a, I remember that now. I think it was on looking at my fingers, you know, five months later to see if I have a scar from it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I reused. Did I reuse? No, I don't. I didn't reuse any skin. I just rebuilt the whole darn thing from scratch. It just, I thought I might have, because I see the, uh, um, the control horn there attached, but I guess, no, no, because I would, I, I had to redo the, uh, the foam ribs and everything. So, yeah, that was that. Redid the foam ribs, re, you know, put some more tank sealing in there, retape the trailing edge, 
Oh, that reminds me. I should take that off of there and scrape it off before I do some paint for the other ones. That's probably the next video. I think the next video we're going to start doing some primer prep stuff for the uh, wing parts because no more building. Might as well do something else constructive before it gets cold out. Unfortunately, it got cold out kind of quick and my ability to be constructive um, went down very quickly as it got chilly. Um, just because couldn't prime, couldn't build, tried to build some stuff, eh, whatever. Anyway, uh, we'll, be, we'll get caught up, and these videos are going to be coming out um, much more frequently. So anyway, uh, that's it for this one. This is the third, third uh, trim tab, uh, rite of passage for building a Vans aircraft, rebuilding your trim tabs. Most people don't have to do it three times, though. I did. I'm special. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time.